nerdsreviews.com presents Nerds Talking, the podcast. Yo, we talk about lightsabers, stunning your TV screens, what you want to stream, everything beyond your dreams. Want to talk about movies, sports, or even politics. Go ahead and tune into us, we'll give you all of it. Whatever you debate, next box of PlayStation, Marvel the DC, Mac or PC. Terra flops when the movie drops, gigabytes, chips, RAM, no matter what it is, we got all of it. Welcome to the show. Nerds Talking, the podcast. Welcome to Nerds Talking, the podcast. I'm here with Carlos and Johnny. I'm Lafayette. That's all you get today. I know. you would probably be like, where's Hugh? Where's Marie? But other than that, Mortal Kombat. That's what we're talking about, people. Mortal Kombat, the movie, which came out on HBO Max and movie theaters, has been seen by all three individuals on today's podcast. And everyone has a separate or different take, or everyone... Um, you guys saw it in theaters, didn't you too? Yeah. Yeah. And I saw it on HBO Max. And I guess um what was your takeaway from the movie? Not comparing it to the original one. What's your takeaway? Did you enjoy the storyline? Did you um did you like the new original character in the movie? Did you like the fact they added all the, these fatalities and and um just like Scorpion and the Sub Zero storyline. Like, what was your favorite part of the movie? Is my is is a good start. What did you like most? I liked how uh, graphic it was compared to the first one. Yeah, like, it needed that. Because guts coming out was. and yeah. tons of blood and things like yeah. that. The best kill was uh, Kano. Well, no, not Kano. What's the guy with the with the uh, boomerang hat? What's Kung Lao. Kung Lao killing the flying chick. That was the best. The best one. Yeah. When he just sliced right through her head and then he like, what does he say? Doesn't he say flawless victory or something like he says like one of the lines, you're like, okay, <laughs> you're also the narrator. Um, but Carlos, what was your favorite part? Johnny loves the violence. I like the opening scene. The choreography of that opening fight was, was great. The uh, Scorpion Sub-Zero fight. That was awesome. I like that. That was cool. I think this movie's upside for me was just the effects and what they couldn't achieve back in what, 1998, maybe I think that movie came out. I don't know what it was. 94. I mean, it's come out quite 95. a long time ago. Yeah. And the effects were great. The way Goro looked, uh, the fatalities, the, the dragon, uh, Luke Kang's powers, all that all look great. The dumb parts of the movie were everything else. So, um, <laughs> There's just some really dumb shit in this movie. Um, I don't understand why Cole Young, the ancestor of Scorpion, plays a part in this movie. Where has Scorpion been all this time? Why does he only show up now? Scorpion, all this uh, Scorpion seems to be like he's. I mean, Scorpion Sub Zero has always been kicking ass, taking names for uh, Shao Kahn. It looks like. So why has Scorpion decided to show up at the MMA gym to help Cole out? I mean, what the hell is that about? Didn't it have to do with the, de- the his blood on the dagger and oh no, it has to do it. yeah, it has to do with the bloodline and all this that and Cole Young's part of Scorpion's bloodline and what I'm saying is it's just it was dumb the fact that they made Sub Zero this ultimate bad guy no one could beat him all of a sudden Scorpion finally shows up oh, I'm here now like oh after all these years you're finally gonna get revenge from hell and he's not even that good he needs Cole's help to actually beat Sub Zero he's not that badass. They made it, I don't know, it felt like more of a Sub-Zero Scorpion underlining plot. And Shao Kahn lost all his heroes. Every single, I mean, whatever you want to call them, his team. All of them are dead. So he decided, yeah, this doesn't really count, right? We didn't actually fight the tournament. I'll be back. And then he just takes off and the next movie is basically a re- repeat of the same thing. That's why that's, and that's how I left, like, ah. Oh. So basically, you tell me we're gonna get the same thing again. He's gonna get more bad guys, lose again, and then repeat it again, and then repeat it again. And I don't know. I get movie two and a half out of five after I watched it. I was like, yeah, it's okay. Yeah. I mean, why? Why is the underworld just look like a big vast desert? Have you ever been to the underworld? Maybe it's a big bad desert. Why would Shao Kahn want to rule the underworld? 
on his throne in the middle of a desert on a rock. <laughs> like, like it was dumb. Like in, in the original movie, it was cooler looking where, where like the underworld was and, and how that took place. This one was just, a, he just walks around the desert with his goons. What are we going to do now, boss? We're going to get Raiden. How? We're going to cheat a little bit. If you guys, you know, just play along, we got him. I, See, I, th- I think you're missing a couple of the details. You were probably playing on your phone, which is a disadvantage of watching a movie at, at home. home. Yeah. No, no. I in, in the the theater, no, because they weren't in. And first of all, it wasn't underworld. It was outworld. Yeah, it's the same shit. It's uh, so so obviously you're not paying attention to the details. And then second, it's not it's not the desert. Desert. The desert part is in on Earth. Yeah, where Kung Lao's walking around. That's Luke where King Raiden in is in the at. desert. Yeah, that's where Raiden's at. So, okay. so but when you look Outworld at the, isn't Outworld. A, is a desert. It was it was a dark, gloomy place, just like the mm. the first one. It just looked like Utah on a rainy day. Mountains and nothing around. Some guys walking around in cloaks for some reason, as he as like just a bunch of people in cloaks walking around and it it's like it was lame. It was I don't know. It was I was disappointed by the actor they casted for Shao Kahn. He just wasn't that. I don't think he was that great. And then I don't know. It's like they try to stick everything. What were you looking for exactly? Were you looking for an Oscar-worthy film? I was looking for a tournament. Number one, there was no tournament. That's number one. And when they yeah, explain that if I win the 10th that. tournament, if I win the 10th tournament, I take over. But we're not going to have a tournament. We're not trying to kill him before the tournament. Well, then you don't play by the rules. You don't win the tournament. You dumbass. Who are you going to have left to beat in the tournament? Jax? Like, you know what I mean? Like, how funny was that when he was punching the, the heavy bag with his tiny little, with his little arms. Baby robot arm? <laughs> yeah, yeah. I mean, and, and that too. Everybody gets cool powers. He just, his little baby arms turn into bigger arms. Like, that's not, what? That's, that's the not cool a power. power. He crushed homeboy's head. Well, yeah, because now he has big arms. What I'm saying is everybody has like a supernatural power. If they didn't give him those baby arms, what would be his power? That's what I'm trying to say. If they didn't even give him arms, what power would he have? He wouldn't have found it. His little nubs? (laughs) (laughs) It would have been funny if they attached fingers to his shoulders. So oh man. I've seen no man. I've I've seen that in real life, dude. Uh, At one of the comic book conventions, some kid walked by and he had fingers sticking out of his shoulders. Uh, the oddest thing ever. Yeah, uh, imagine if he had kid. Jack's powers. He would just have metal fingers. <laughs> <laughs> and what's the other dumb shit? Sonya Blade, they're all training, but as soon as she gets her little Mortal Kombat marking, she knows how to use her powers right away. Oh, well, I figured this shit out easily. Uh, Cole Young, you don't even know how to do this. I'm it like, happened oh. off screen. Give her a break. <laughs> oh, is that what it was? <laughs> it's a lot of time elapsed between her getting back from beating Kano. I'm sure if we had the Snyder cut. How did cut. she get back? How did she get <laughs> back, <Snyder>. too? <laughs> We'd have two extra hours to explain how Sonya <laughs> figured that shit out. He looked it up on Google. Uh, I don't know. The movie was, it was okay. It was, I just thought Scorpion and Sub-Zero thing was kind of wasted at the end. Like, they set it up as being, man, this is going to be epic when they actually get together. And it wasn't that great when they got together like like i don't know i see those those two are main characters in the whole thing I, they even asked the director are you gonna bring dead characters back and for part two he's like yeah i could see that happening well you're gonna have to people are gonna want more scorpion and more sub-zero like well scorpion is still alive isn't he no i know but he went back to hell because he All was right. done that's it he's done like, like is he done period we're not gonna see him anymore like you know what i mean is he that's it I mean, well, here's the thing about the movie. I don't know how Johnny felt, but I liked it. And I don't know if it was because I saw it in the theater and I hadn't been in a theater in a while and it was the full movie experience, big screen. But it was entertaining to me. I wasn't expecting some Oscar film. You know, this is not going to win any awards. Like Johnny had said when we walked out, it's not winning any awards. But it is entertaining. And like I saw the people talking so negatively about it on Facebook. I'm like, settle down, man. You ain't got shit to do. They're giving you a free movie to watch at home. And all I got to do is trash it. Why don't you just enjoy it while you're stuck at home doing nothing? That to me was a good film. I watched it again when I got home. I enjoyed it. I mean, there are some flaws to it. Like I didn't like uh, <clears throat> Cole's ability is basically he's a human punching bag. <laughs> 
And even his trainer told him that, oh, yeah, the reason we got you is because you're a human punching bag. And then even his abilities, he's got like this metal suit on and this armor, but it wouldn't actually activate until he got hit a certain amount of times. I'm like, man, this guy really is a human punching bag. And then it got activated. So I thought that was kind of silly, but the rest of the movie is just fun. I just do wish that they would have had more reptile in it like they did in the original. But I, I thought that was cool too, but Sonia did bug the shit out of me. I didn't. She was just not a good actress. No, she wasn't a good actress. And the way they did her story where she lived in like almost like a mobile home. And uh, I don't know. Kane, how did she catch Kano? I would assume Kano could kick her ass. It's just like the way they introduced Kano was kind of silly. How long has he been chained up there? I don't know. I mean, he's, I mean, it's I don't know. Like you said, oh, well, you, I saw it in a the theater. So why are you guys bashing it? I mean, I watch a lot of movies in theaters. I think they're shit. <laughs> it doesn't matter to me. I watch a movie that's in a the theater. Why, if it's shit, it's shit. Said, actually, but that's cool. That is what it. you said. You said you gave it a benefit yeah. of doubt because I saw it in a movie theater. I, like, that's not what I said, you dumb dick. Let's it is what you said. Conversation. No. Johnny, no, what, what did said, I say? You basically <laughs> said, oh, I, I think I liked it more because I saw it in a movie theater. It's been a while since I've been in a movie theater. I don't okay, give a shit Okay, but then I said I saw I it again at home and I still liked it. So because, well, you, you liked it the first time. You're not going to necessarily dislike it the second time. So that's not true. It's, it's I've just, seen movies where I see the second time, like, oh, this is such trash. Can't believe yeah, I liked it the first time. I saw time. Spaceballs recently, and I'm, mm. I'm a little, little upset because I, I used yeah. to quote that shit, and I, that was like the funniest <laughs> thing in the world to me. And uh, well, it's yeah, the same as a movie like Three Amigos. It's not as funny as you remember. Oh no, that movie is funny, but it's not yeah. as funny as you remember. Like we all thought Spaceballs was hilarious. You watch it now, it's not as funny as we remember Spaceballs. You know, like if you never watch it a second time and you just thought about it, you probably think it's funny. Then you watch it like, oh, man, it's kind of lame. Just how Mortal Kombat was when I first watched it. Lame trash. That's how yeah, I feel about this conversation. You sound- lame <laughs> ass. <laughs> yeah. Trash. Yeah. When I look back on this conversation, I, I don't think I'm going to like it any better. Mortal Kombat. <laughs> just. And then, you know, people, it's free. Why are you bitching about it? I mean, you, you can bitch about anything. Just, you don't like it, you don't like it. Like, it just, it's, and like it was, you said, it uh, doesn't have to be Oscar worthy. You know, we've talked about this before. Bad movies can be entertaining and vice versa. Entertaining movies can be bad. I mean, I don't like any Fast and Furious movie, but I'm pretty sure there's something entertaining in there because people love the shit out of those movies. I think I watched one of them. Fast Five or something, and it was with the first one with the Rock, and I was like, "This is so goddamn stupid," but it entertained me to the point where I was like, "You know, whatever." It's like it's like every Transformers movie; they're all trash, but they entertain me. Um, you know, Mortal Kombat's the same. It, it was entertaining. It was just I didn't think it was any good. Johnny, your final verdict. I liked it. Uh, I would give it. I don't know. Seven and a half out of ten. Mm-hmm. So you're basically giving like a three and a half out of five. Gotcha. Do, do your own math. All right. I'm mm-hmm. not going to do it for you. <laughs> that's that's three point seven five out of. I uh, give it a. Uh, I'd give it a three out of five. Three out of five. I liked it. I thought it was more entertaining than Godzilla versus King Kong. Yeah, that movie was super garbage. Yes, Godzilla Kong was not a good movie. People were like, "But the effects are amazing." If the movie's that the plot can't be that dumb, I'm sorry. It's a dumb fucking plot. That movie. Well, the effects are amazing, but yeah, I gotta agree with that one. That whole Middle Earth thing. I don't. I don't know what that was about. That was just dumb. Oh, and this the whole entire plot where Godzilla's attacking the nuclear core, like power, and he can sense it, and he can sense that company doing something, so he's trying to destroy every time he he can sense it. And I'm like, oh my god. Like, you know, if you didn't build Mecha Godzilla, Godzilla would leave you alone. But you had to build Mecha Godzilla, and that's why he showed up. And Kong was cool by himself in his little jungle. You had to leave, leave the dude alone, too. Goddamn assholes. Good fucking Mortal Kombat sucked. Anyway, Johnny, what's your final verdict on Kong versus Godzilla? Yeah, whatever. Take yeah, a break here. It was. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> we'll take a break here and there's talk of the podcast. Get over here! <laughs> Hello everybody, it's Captain Philip here. I know it's been quite a while since I've been on the show, but I always want to chime in on a little bit about Mortal Kombat. You know, but I like Mortal Kombat games, you know, because you can tear like people's heads off and then you can like turn it into a dragon and spit fire. 
the movie was just not that good. You know what I'm saying? It could have been a lot better. Eh, it's what it is. Back to you, everybody. Welcome back to Nurse Talking the Podcast. I'm Lafayette. I'm here with Johnny Carlos. I saw that um, some magazines are really, I think it's L Magazine. That's still a thing, right? They're celebrating. Are making, magazines a thing? They made history because they're putting the first nine non-binary male model on the cover. This is just, this just a male model. What does that even mean? What does it even, even mean? Means. He's not. I think that we just made history means... then because we had a non-binary guest on our show. No, I, I mean we made history. Does it mean that it just means that you don't you don't affiliate with men or women or or like what is the, what the fucking people. non-binary cats dogs? <laughs> gives a shit. All cats are non-binary. <laughs> Fuck. He identifies as a dog. Oh, yeah, he does. <laughs> yeah. No, I mean, I mean, I just, man, I just, we've had this conversation already about the, like, you can pick, you can basically pick your gender these days by just, if you want to, that's it. Just if you want to, like that, that's like, that basically how things are these days. Oh, I'm not a male. I'm not a, what are you? I'm a, and then you can just say whatever you want. And if you tell people, if people, somebody says, oh, that's not a thing, you're going to offend them. Okay, you ready? Non-binary or gender queer is an umbrella term for gender identities that are neither male nor female. Identities that are outside the gender binary. Non-binary identities can fall under transgender umbrella since many non-binary people identify with a gender that is different from their assigned sex. There you go. So basically, transgender people? Mm. Like, it just sounds like people they don't want to be labeled. Their their, their label is their name. Yeah, yeah, that's what I mean. You know, they they don't I'm want Carlos. to be labeled. That's it. Don't label me a male or heterosexual or just just I'm Carlos and that's it because I run my own world. I'm the king of my castle. That's what it sounds like to me. I don't know. What do you think, Johnny? I don't know. I, I don't have any opinion on here about that. I I don't know. I mean, because I don't want to offend anyone, but at the same time, I like, did that part already. You don't, okay? Yeah, just if I were to meet someone who doesn't identify this or that, or yeah, I, I just don't know. Uh, if if we ran into one of our friends growing up and he's like, "No, call me, call me this now," and uh, I'm a girl, I'm like, "Well, you were a dude when we were growing up. You remember that part?" <laughs> well, that's the thing. It's, when you call him Pat or Chris. It's, 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 uh, <laughs> you basically, you just call people by their name. Like when they say, I'm not, who's gonna ever, who's gonna call you male or female? Only, I guess, if you don't know them and you're pointing somebody out in the crowd and going, Oh, yeah, that, that dude right there. Like, other than that, you're gonna call your friends by their name, you know. So if I was to go up to somebody and go, Hey, Todd, no, I'm not non binary, Todd. <laughs> well, let's say the whole damn thing now. And then I come to find out I'm also <laughs> non binary. So, but I don't, I'm <laughs> Johnny's face. Like, how do I process well, because any of this? <laughs> well, it's funny because, like, the, you know, I said this before. You can please some of the people some of the time, but you can't please all the people all the time. And the problem, like, now you can't even come into a room and say, "Hey, ladies and gentlemen, can I blah, have your attention?" Da 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 da. da. Oh yeah, people. Now you're gonna have people yeah. like, "Oh, what about us over here?" I'm like, what about you? Well, I'm, the problem. It's just a general it, term. It's just. And yeah, what's, it's, it's, yeah. But it's like you said, if. I disagree with it. I'm not allowed to have my own opinion in the world we live in now. Now I'm the bad guy because I have my own beliefs and opinion because I don't, I'm not saying I disagree with the binary, but I'm just saying just in general. But see you know, the definition I gave you for non-binary basically says I don't fall in line with my given sexual identity. Well then if, so let's say you don't fall, if you're not a male, then are you a female? Like, <laughs> You know what line do you fall on? Oh, I'm not. I'm nothing. That's basically what non-binary means. I don't fall in any category. Zero. Well, you know, I think. How do I, I think it's perfect. That? That, I think it's a perfect topic for Johnny because, say, you were arrest someone. What prison do you put them in? Male or female? If they're non-binary, they don't. You know, they don't go one way or the other. Do you just go with science? Uh, well, apparently you are a female. Apparently you are a male. So you go into this way or this way. I mean, or do they get, oh, no, you can't put me in that population because I'm, I don't identify with them. So how does that work? Well, it, it first comes down to science. And then, uh, you know, we'll, we'll ask them how they identify. And then um, th this happened the other day, actually. The female came through and as she was like 
changing into jail clothes, they noticed she had a penis and then, uh, they're like, okay, well, and then everything stops, you know, supervisors get involved and, uh, the, they're not put in any general population. They're just put, if anything, with other people like them, maybe they're transitioning, maybe, uh, they're males that identify as females or, uh, I saw a male, who had everything downstairs, but then he also had breasts. And so, I mean, uh, you, you just have to separate them. You, you put them in general population, they could be taken advantage of. But what if you were to put that person in general pop of women? Uh, you, you just can't. Because you, you wouldn't. Because right. it's scientifically still a male. Right. Mm. Can you Did make you a see, well, I don't know if you can make a penis. You can cut one off and turn it inside out and make it a makeshift vagina, but can you make a penis? I don't know. I don't know, but Google that, Johnny. I know you want to. Uh, you nah, I don't shit. want to know what, what kind of shit is going to come on my phone. <laughs> I want you to Google blue waffle while you're at it. Oh, I've seen that. That's terrible. I've never, I've never seen it. I, I've been told several times don't do it, so I just haven't done it. Have you seen so, uh, yeah. the the rock show? Uh, Titans, mm -hmm. yeah. something like that. Oh, there was yes. a, a basketball uh, player, right? Yeah, he, yes. he came out and he was like, "Yeah, I'm a national champion from Stanford." I'm like, "Stanford, like, never who are you?" Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then uh, I, I was born Stephanie, and now I'm whatever. He was jacked, super jacked, jacked. Yeah. Oh, but still man, didn't that's... have enough strength to beat the male. That's and a this whole... guy was jacked. This guy was a... was he was that... and but. That's a and whole different topic, too. If Stephen wouldn't have told us that he was Stephanie before, I would never have known that that was a, a woman before. I never would have known. I just want to know what she took to become he because he looked pretty good. I, well, I wouldn't mind taking some of that shit myself. Obviously, what Stephen was taking was testosterone. Lucky, yeah, would you uh, take something to uh, become a man finally or no? <laughs> no, no. I like being a schlub. <laughs> I've already, I've already ridden over that mountain, just going downhill now. I identify you as a little bitch. Whoa! <laughs> sorry, oh, sorry, wow. sorry. I'm wow. not by a bear, bear. I'm not bitchinary. <laughs> um, non bitchinary. Yeah, not bitchinary. But uh, so that comes up another topic. You guys probably heard Caitlyn Jenner recently came out and said that uh, women or men that are transitioning into women should not be allowed to play in women's sports. I basically that, came out yes, and said that yes. and um, said it's basically cheating. And it's true. I mean, imagine if Bruce Jenner transitioned when he was in his 20s and then decided to go to the Olympics. He would have dominated like he did in the Olympics. Like, it's you know, I don't for me, that's not a that's not you see it in high school a lot. And I'm like, oh, that is so not fair. Like Jerome is now Jenny and just murder and attract me because his the physical is it's a man that's just what it is it's a man like you know There's Johnny that uh, MMA fighter who transitioned to a woman oh yes wreck, wrecking havoc yes. I mean but still can't get to the top but still um, yeah, yeah how how unfair is that especially for the competitors. Yeah, it's true. Yes, it's, it's very unfair for the competitors. And and yeah, and the MMA thing's a great example because uh that's that's a that's a sport where imagine a man, yeah, like well, there is a man that transitioned to a woman and now trying to fight. Sometimes I almost feel like some people do it because they can't cut it. You know what I mean? They can't cut it, they can't fight men, they suck at it. They just, or whatever sport they're trying to compete, they're like, Well, let me see. If I get boobs and chop this off, I might make some money. So yeah, but there's also a uh, community college in Santa Clara, California. You hear about that one? Mm -mm. Mission College. They currently have a 52 year old basketball. Player oh yes, 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 yes. That yes. was a man. Yes, yes, yes. Now here's the thing about I that. Saw that. I think Mission College is just doing it for publicity, because if this was an actual 52 year old woman, you're not putting them on the basketball team. No and that dude that. is tall. I, I mean, towers over all these women or girls, and he dominates the league. It's sad. It's I saw that. No, like, this is so sad. Yeah, I think they're totally doing that for publicity. I don't. And not even that. I just think that that individual finally found a way to play college basketball, 
and it's like, look at me, I'm a college basketball player. Like, oh, oh, because you couldn't cut it when you're a dude. You couldn't play hoops against the other dudes. I'm surprised Johnny didn't do this in high school when I just thought about it. <laughs> Instead of sitting at the end of the bench all the time. I'm not anyway, gonna lie. If, if, they, if they give me a tryout, maybe. Jenny Lee. Maybe. All right. I'll just take a break here on Nurse Talking the Podcast. We found out Johnny is non binary. Oh, hold on, real quick. Why do they even say binary? I mean, binary is a computer term, ones and zeros. I mean, why do they choose non binary? That's what I wanted. Uh, you know, it's just, again, it's. Uh, it's just, it drives me insane only because it's like how you have to identify as something. I don't care what you say. You have to. So that's what I don't understand. Why bother? I mean, when you pick up guys, I mean, when the guys pick you up you, or you talk to them at a bar or club, whatever, they imagine they're going up to a woman, right? A, a, so if you go, Hey ladies, you know that she's going to go, Oh, what? Uh, you're not talking to me. And you walk away. I don't know. I, I don't know. But I think you had a point earlier. I think people label themselves non-binary so they can be in their own lane and not be labeled by someone else. That's just how I feel about it. But you also have a point. If you're in a club, you're like, hey, what's up? Oh, what are you guys up to? Because the music's loud and you're drinking. And she's like, I'm non-binary. Well, you know, zero one zero zero one. Let's just <laughs> do it. Computer tech. I got you. <laughs> beep, beep, got beep, beep. You. Nerd squad. <laughs> like, like what? <laughs> you whisper in her ear. <laughs> <laughs> like, what do you like? Ah <laughs> oh, man, Johnny, you got the final word on this, and then I'm going to break. God damn it. I I feel like uh, this has been discussed already in a 2002 film called Joanna Man. Remember that? <laughs> Okay, and white girls, <laughs> white chicks, oh, white, white chicks. chicks, white chicks. Yeah, that's right, white Wait, chicks. No, well, Juana man, he he goes no, into Juana a man's, female league, so he can play in the WNBA. No, well, and what about ladybugs? What about ladybugs? Ladybugs. Look up ladybugs. That, that oh dude yes, yes, dresses yes. Dresses as a when, girl uh, to play on a uh, woman's basketball or soccer well, team. But see, that's different though. That was, different? That was Rodney Dangerfield's plan, and that kid wanted to get close to one of the girls he liked on the team. It's the only way he can get close to her is to play on the team, and Dangerfield was okay with it because the guy was so good at soccer and he dominated and Dangerfield won. What about Tootsie? <sighs> no, I don't know the plot for that movie. I'm sorry. I know yeah, the I know movie. Came a woman to get a job as a news reporter or news anchor or something like that. I thought Tootsie was in the military or something. I don't know. No, Dustin Hoffman dresses as a I know, woman. I know. Yeah, yeah. Dustin Hoffman. That has nothing well, just, to do with the military. Well, it's just like uh, bosom buddies. You know. Oh, that's right. Well, they had to dress as women to live in that apartment because it was mm-hmm. the cheapest place they could find to live. That's right. That's right. That's right. Um, yeah. Yep. That's about it. All right. Let's take a break here on Nerd Stalking the Podcast. We'll be right back after this. You know, my friend asked me one time if I was cisgender. And I was like, I don't have any sisters. Just me by myself. I don't know what you're talking about. He said, you're non-binary. I said, I'm not a zero or a one, but I am pretty cool. So I'm cool binary. Come back to share, everybody. Welcome back to Nerds Talking Podcast. I'm Lafayette. I'm here with Carlos and Johnny. And we're going to talk about traveling. Johnny, you're a traveler. Please tell me an experience you had traveling in which you were like, I don't want to be here no more. Can I go home? Well, I mean, I've, I've traveled throughout the years. And, uh, you know, with the military, I did a little bit of traveling. This by far was probably the worst. Uh, so my girlfriend at the time, uh, she's now my wife. So know that this has a happy ending. Um, anyways, uh, we go to France and uh, she's in charge of buying the tickets. So in a row of four people, she sits us right in the middle. So I have to ask my neighbor to fucking get up and piss like I'm a goddamn inmate. And uh, I have a tiny bladder. So of, of this 10, 12 hour flight, I'm just getting up and down, up and down. And when we finally land in uh, France, I ask her, why would you pick these seats? She said, well, you said you didn't care. I'm like, yeah, but we're right in the middle. I have to get permission to get up and pee. It's just not not the best idea. And we we actually got into a fight about it uh, once we landed. And uh, I was planning on proposing that trip uh, and uh, had the ring in the bag and everything. And she was like, 
I don't know. You know how people get that that smart ass tone with you, and you were like, "Motherfucker." <laughs> well, that's what she did. I was like, you know what? We're here in France. Uh, let's just let's just ha- forget this. Have a good time. She's like, I'm fine. What? You know, <laughs> implying that I'm not like I got the problem. I'm like, bitch. First of all, we're staying at my uncle's house. Well, where are you gonna stay? <laughs> Second of all, I'm gonna t- return this ten thousand dollar ring and get the best hookers and <laughs> right in front of you. So that was my thought. Uh, we made up, uh, you know, soon after I ended up proposing, but and and on the way home she did uh, change the seat, so we're not in the middle. But did she exchange them? prior to leaving i mean prior to leaving california or did she change them there she changed them there while we were in france Mm, so she smartened up well she got the ring on (laughs) so (laughs) so yeah oh so i'm guessing she sat in the aisle like on the right side of the plane so that her left arm was in the aisle so people could see her bling when they walked by you know what's funny is uh when you're in france like over the intercom um you'll hear in a bunch of different languages like be aware of your possessions uh there's a pickpocketers and things like that and then she had her hand um you know how when you're like on the train or whatever you're holding the bar mm-hmm. she like covered her hand for the rock like someone was gonna steal their ring it's not that nice <laughs> I'm like thousand dollars. What did you get for ten grand? <laughs> a grand. It's a, oh, it's mostly best, the band. Mostly the band. <laughs> the best cubic zirconia money can buy. Swarovski's crystals, man. I got them all. Uh, and then, uh, so then, um, so it turned out well for you, even though you had to sit in shitty seats to France. Right. Yeah, so there you go. It's a long I'm, trip. It's a long no, yeah, trip. Yeah, 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 and, yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. you know, you, I had all that time to brew uh, mm. about what what a bad decision she made picking mm. these seats. Oh, I thought you were like, I was brewing about what a bad decision, decision I'm gonna I made. made. It's what I got to deal with for the rest of my life. <laughs> bad That's what seats. I thought he was going to say, too. I was gonna say too. <laughs> Who chooses to say? When we go to a restaurant and it's a bunch of friends we better not sit in the middle of everybody what was the movie they were showing yeah. mortal Kombat? because it must have been a horrible flight god damn it anyway carlos uh how about you what's your bad travel story i've yet to have a bad travel story oh okay the worst you i have could nothing say, but good memories of traveling yeah well nothing bad has happened like traveling the only i guess the worst part was traveling back from japan with dennis and that's like a 16 hour flight I think. But anyway, no, he's like the biggest dude. He's like wide. He was super wide at the time. He decides to sit in the fucking middle of us. You know, there's three, three. We're on the on the left side of the right side of the plane, I think. He decides to sit in the middle. So here I am kind of pushed out into the aisle because he's so wide. I was like, he's like halfway into my seat. That's about it. I think that's the worst traveling experience I've had so far. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Well, where else would he sit? He could have sat at the window, sat next to his girlfriend. Or maybe I could have sat at the window and he could have sat in the aisle because he's so wide. He's a wide dude. Um, The only one I have is flying back from Portugal 12 hours. I upgraded my seat. Like, I want to sit like... The, like there's like five different levels of seats on this plane. I got the one right before first class. I'm like, yeah, it's gonna be better. We get more leg room. This, well, I didn't know it was like six inches narrower than the seat I had going there, and it was just squeezing me to death the whole flight. And it was so uncomfortable. I was like, oh my god, why is this such a narrow seat? Need motivation, lose some weight, fat ass. No, 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 no. They didn't accommodate me. <laughs> <laughs> so it was it was all bad and then uh the only other story was basically just getting into a fight uh get into a fight <laughs> like a fist fight uh, somebody sprayed pepper spray in my mouth at a bar and then i chased him down and beat his ass and threw him under a car and then i spit on him and the guy on the car got, got super mad at me because i started banging on the car to get him out from underneath the car because it was hiding underneath the car <laughs> No Where was though. this? Was he trying to roof you with pepper spray? <laughs> no, <laughs> he <laughs> he uh, he was talking smack to somebody else in our group, and he sprayed that guy in the eyes. And I heard him scream in the bar, and I because we were outside, and I went inside, and the guy was on the floor holding his face, and he was like, he pepper sprayed me. And I look over, and this little guy, like five foot three, he I turn over to him, and he pepper sprays me, but he gets me in the mouth, so it doesn't really do anything. You're like, mm-hmm. 
Yeah, yeah. It was like it was like it was super like you know hot like you know, and I was like, but it didn't. The anger was already overboiled to the point where it doesn't matter if he pepper sprayed me. He he had to run out of that place as fast as possible, and he just wasn't fast enough. His little baby legs, and then uh, I pulled him from behind and started punching him in the back of the head, and then. I like kicked them underneath the car and that's when everybody else chased us out of the bar, like to see what was going on and blah, 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 blah. Yeah. Was that in Portugal? It was in the Azores. Yeah. Basically. Yeah. Yep. So, so but it's not a bad story. <laughs> it's beating up on little children. That doesn't count. Yeah. <laughs> wrong with you? That's another thing I forgot to mention. He was 11. <laughs> <laughs> I always think that when I like pull up and I'll see like a Taekwondo class and it's mm-hmm. children's hour. And I think to myself, I just go in there and <laughs> wreck shop. I to think the shit out of you walk in <laughs> yeah. with a sign in your hand. I challenge your master and you break the sign in half and the students all surround you. Yeah. Like when Kramer joined the class, remember when Kramer joined a uh, karate or Taekwondo and he thought he was the man and the kids Little beat kids. his ass. <laughs> yeah. That, that would be my fear though. I would just get <laughs> fucked up and then arrested on top of it. Oh, I just walk in and just be like, I want to fight the headmaster. Is she female? And then end the conversation. (laughs) Uh, Anyway, let's take a break here. Johnny had a flight where he almost ruined his marriage. Carlos has never had any travel issues in his life. Perfect traveler. Not yet. Got stuck in a little seat and oh. found a little man. <laughs> I don't know what's going on. Oh, you know, Although, I remember there was one time in uh, Vietnam when uh, I went to a village and uh, it was pretty, I don't know, they, electricity was uh, scarce. Scarce. Uh, toilet was a porcelain bowl in the middle of a field. And hey. uh, yeah, I got a little sick and I had to go to the bowl. It was my first time using, you know, squatting to poop. And uh, yeah. long story short, I had to throw away the pants. There's just no saving it after that. <laughs> how did you uh, come? How did it. you come back into the hut or the house or whatever the hell with no pants on? You just grab a bunch of big leaves and just hold them in front of you, or tiny you leaves, just, or whatever you need. Did you to like throw. put the porcelain thing and just kind of kept it close to your ass and? How'd you, yeah, how'd you get back with no pants on? Or did you have pants, you walked back with your pants on, just threw the pants out? I think I just had my underwear on. I mean, it was like two in the morning. Oh, oh, oh. So no one saw you going through like the rice field and all that. And it was literally in a rice field. Yeah, that's what I mean, because that's what it is over there. Everything's rice fields. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I even bother using the porcelain pot just to shoot in the rice field. Hit the ground, yeah. Yeah. I don't know. I thought Did it was civilized. Did splashback get you? Is that what happened? Did splashback got you? No, it's, oh, it's just just a, get him off in time? It's not, just I thought you bowl. said flashback like he had no, some type splashback. of flashback. <laughs> no, no, I, I get flashbacks all the time. PTSD from your time in <laughs> Vietnam? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, like, when, when I hear veterans talk, oh, I get that PTSD. I got you, man. I understand. No, totally. no, I feel you, dog. Yeah, I, was, I understand that shit you went through, bro. I was in Nam too. I man. was in Nam too. <laughs> I had to throw away my pants, dog. In 1996. Yeah, no, 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 no. <laughs> yeah, 97. <laughs> like, what? All right, let's take a break here on Nerds Talking the Podcast. We'll be right back after this. Hello, everybody. Hope you enjoyed the show so far. I'm having myself a blast. These guys are hilarious. You should uh, subscribe, turn on the notification to download. And remember, Taco Tuesdays every Tuesdays, where your podcasts are found. Apple, Spotify, Google, anywhere you find your podcast. I like podcasts. Let's do one right now. Back to you, everybody. Welcome back to Nerds Talking the Podcast. I'm here with Carlos, Johnny, Marie, and I'm Lafayette. You're like, Marie, what? I listened to the whole episode and she hasn't even joined yet. Where has she been? What has she been up to? And has she hit any milestones in life? The answer is nothing. No, it doesn't matter. All right. Welcome, Marie, to the show. (laughs) Wow, Um, that was a great welcome. Thank you. I feel mm -hmm. very... uh... Do you feel welcomed? Yes, uh, I I know everyone missed me, didn't they? Sounds like it. Yes, we are very much. Uh, we actually already spoke about all the things you want to talk about, except for the one thing you've been wanting to talk about. Good Lord, I can't. We're going to talk about this. And we are going to go into texting the uh, thing that everyone does. Nobody calls their friends anymore. They just text each other. Carlos calls me. And what text do I get in return? I get a text in return. I'm pooping. I'll call you back. <laughs> I didn't want to be rude. 
<laughs> who here who here texts and drives and think they're good at it? I mean, we got Marie. She's like Carlos. But I use Siri Johnny. to text for me, so she t- kind of Johnny doesn't do it because Johnny's the law. <laughs> So Johnny, like, like he feels guilty, he, like starts writing himself a ticket as he's driving. Johnny, I have a law enforcement question, and I'm serious. Oh, here we go. No, I'm, I'm for real serious. If you're driving too slow on the freeway, is that illegal? Can you, can you can get a ticket for that, right? Yeah, you're if you're impeding the flow of traffic, you can get a ticket mm-hmm. for that. Uh, every once in a while, I'll see like an old lady um, driving really slow, and uh, the one time I saw it. She said, or she she put a sign on the back of her car saying something like, uh, "You get better gas miles at fifty five miles per hour" or something like <laughs> it's that. Not like my dad. <laughs> so like basically like don't honk at me because I'm like saving the world or some shit. But yeah, if if she's in, uh, um, impeding the flow of traffic, then she can definitely uh, get a ticket. Did you give her the old bumper maneuver? Oh, hit that thing, get her out of the way, spin her off the freeway. Uh, at the time, I was driving without insurance. I'm just just move past. I'm just trying to go with the flow of traffic. I don't want to get pulled over. That's- <laughs> yeah, no, I text and drive all the time, all because because I basically work on the road, so I'm always texting for work, like nonstop. No, I use talk and text, man. It's safe. I, what you're doing is uh, completely ins- no, no, unsafe. I'm, no, I'm professional at it. I've, I've mastered it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because I drive with my knees, you know, <laughs> and then I text, and then. Um, but um, texting, though. So, I mean, it's true. People don't call each other much. You just text each other back and forth, back and forth. and and uh, or, they, or they don't get a text back. Or they get a text that says, I'm pooping. I'll call you back. So uh, I called them back. She did call yeah. me back. She called oh, okay. Back. You know, and then how about people that you text and then don't respond? Like, like they'll left text on red. you. Well, not even that. They'll text you and you'll be like, hey, yeah, no, what's up? Yeah, I saw this. Da, 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 da. Yeah, it's cool. And then silence. Like, like they start the conversation, but they don't continue the conversation. Those punk ass. Well, it depends. Sometimes you read a text. I'll like, sometimes I'll read a text and I answer it in my head and I move on and then I totally forget to actually answer the text. But to me, I thought I had answered it. I don't get no, that. No, that sounds yeah. more like dementia. No, 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 no. I have friends that say that too, and I'm like, uh, I don't. That's I don't like that excuse. That's. But I've that done that several legit. times. I read it like some, but most of the time, it's they'll text me. I'm like, this dumbass. See, I'm reading See? it, and then I'm like, uh, all right, I'll answer you in a bit. I got to do something else, and then I just forget to go back and answer it. Mm. Some people get offended by that. They think that if you don't answer back right away or because sometimes you get caught up in stuff, so you just don't answer back. But if you don't answer back right away, some people get offended and feel like, oh, they don't want to be friends anymore. Oh, they don't well, like me anymore. I don't what know. if you're like in the middle of like you're texting, they're texting, you're texting, they're texting, and then they just drop off. I like to say BRB or I'll be back or whatever because I just think that's rude. But if you text someone and it takes them a while to text you back, that's different, right? I guess it depends on what you're doing, though. I mean, like, say you're in the middle of like shopping, like you're at the grocery, and all of a sudden you get to the check stand. You just put your phone away, just real quick, so you can take care of that. You can't say BRB. Could be sending... Some people aren't as polite as you, Marie. Mm-hmm. What can I say? Johnny's quiet the whole time because apparently he doesn't text at all. No, I... he's the guy who doesn't text back. I'm a pretty uh, courteous texter, I think, but. You know, I'm not anal like Marie. Where you need to tell everyone you're going to be right back. I'll just fucking show back up eventually. What's the big deal? Because Unless you're like, you know, defusing a bomb and you need up to the minute stats and <laughs> shit like that. But if not, you can wait. Let me, you know, check out. Let me get my groceries. Did you see right. that meme I sent in the group message about cat texts versus dog texts? Mm-hmm. Yes. That's yeah. like, that's how I am. I'm the dog texter. <laughs> Get back to everybody that texts. You're a novelist is what you are. <laughs> <Jesus>. Like, right. <laughs> well, yeah, I have read your text before and man, oh man. I've never texted you. How are you reading my text messages? <laughs> <laughs> Carlos. No, I gotta, oh, but I'm, well, I, from now on, when you text me, I need you to go like chapter one and then text. <laughs> Here's the reason why okay. I read your text because Carlos was driving and oh, he gave weird. me his phone and said, Hey, read that. I'm driving. And I would read it to him. And it was God. like, and it was like literally like the dawn of men. 
Like I'm like, holy <laughs> shit! And this is a long ass. Co- and then so I was like, this was that one Friday that I missed, or that uh, Thursday? Yeah, 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 yeah. Most everything you read was from me that I wrote you back. God, no. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and you How did succeed. Good job. But we thought you caught on because you were like, oh, you and the theater. That's asshole. actually what well, yeah, you and the exactly. theater are funny or something. No. You said that. What it was. You actually said something well, like I that. Figured, I figured that you would probably be telling him anyway because, like, I, we were talking about the piercings. And then you came back and you're like, Lafayette doesn't like it either. So I figured that you were already telling him oh. anyway. Oh, we were together that was at you. that time. That right, was right. you. Yeah. yeah, yeah, I write it all. But he, he's right. You you right now do you pre-write things down the day before in a note and then you copy and paste and then you, you pick somebody like out. all right this is what i'll text johnny tomorrow and then well just it's funny the is that her out. last text had like a table of contents it just depends on what you're saying like if i'm like telling a story it's one long thing but if i'm having like oh this is the topic this is the topic send 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 like, it's almost <laughs> like you text google docs <laughs> And I just click it like I gotta read. No, this it depends. Shit. It depends. It depends. It depends. If it's a story, or if it's like if I'm mad, or if I'm energetic about it, it's one long story. But like in the other group message or whatever, it's here's a topic. Here's a topic. Here's you know I don't like. Here's my pet peeve. Here's this, and it's like one after the other, after the other, after the other, yeah, after yeah. the other. You know what? That's because you're just trying to get it all out. Mm-hmm. Like you know, it's a one-sided conversation because you're just trying to <laughs> just blur it out. But like, I always get back to text always because it's usually just a question or it's, for instance, there's a guy that I spoke like I used to work with and he was writing me about work and you know I was like, oh, don't worry about this, man. Just do this, do that. You know, it's not a big deal. And then he would write something like, yeah, but this, you know, whatever his work complaint was, and I just I read him back. Oh, you know, just give me a call. And then silence, like no <laughs> call. Wouldn't text anymore that day. It's almost like when I mentioned the word, give me a call. He was like, what the fuck? I don't want to talk to you. <laughs> just fucking just let me text you. Dick pic. Let me text you, bro. And then um, that's just, I don't know. I just, it, I think if you look at your phone, what's the percentage of call to text? You know, like, that's how I look like. Um, what is, what is that? What is the percentage of call to text? I think it depends on the conversation. On an average I've day, a, I've gotten a few phone calls this week. Gotten but on an average calls. day, would you like? I don't even you, get text messages on an average day. Use oh, really? oh now I feel sad, Johnny. Let's move on. <laughs> She's an orphan, Johnny. Go ahead. I would say over ninety percent is text. Uh, I don't get calls very much. There, there are some some of the friends that I have that are kind of old school like that. They'll like still leave voice messages yeah 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 and things like that uh, um but majority of it text messages some people feel it's uh informal rude my mom is one of those people she uh she has told other people in my family that me texting is is disrespectful or some shit like that but whatever is it because maybe she doesn't know how to text? That she's not see, that's back? I, see, you know that's just it. I think it's those. It's that, and I think it's just an age thing. That's what it is. Could be. It's just an age thing. Um, because, like, my mom doesn't really know how to text well. She can text, yes. But if I tell her, hey, tell Carlos this for me, all I get back is an emoji. Like a little poop guy or like that's something that doesn't relate to what I just said. Because she has no clue. Like she'll put happy birthday. I'm like, well, happy what? No, tell him that I have AIDS. You know what my dad oh does? My like I, I guess when you, you hit send and you leave your finger on there, it's like a it comes off as a gentle effect. Uh, yeah, yes, yes, oh, yes, 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 yes. So like everything my dad sends me is gentle effect. Hey, uh, what time are you coming over? Gentle, gentle effect. And then it has like uh, the confetti. Bubbles and shit, yeah. <laughs> Almost like he's asking you, please come over. <laughs> I think someone stole my mail. Boom, confetti. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, But seriously. I think texting over calling is just more convenient. Like if say, for example, I'm watching Mortal Kombat and someone yeah. calls me, I'm not gonna answer. Or if I, I do answer, I'm like, hurry up and get it over with, the movie's on pause. But if it's on text, I can pick up text and put it back down, go back to what I was doing, pick up text, go like that. So I just think texting is now more convenient than the call. And I do think it's funny when my friends do leave me voice messages. I'm like, dude, I saw that you called me you know, I got a missed call from you. You don't have to leave me a message. I'll call you back. 
or like in in my situation, if I call somebody and they don't answer, I don't leave. A, I'll never. I'll never leave a voicemail. I'll just text them. Hey, dude, I try to call oh, you. Oh, I something. always leave voicemails. Always, <clears throat> and it never pertains to what I call for. <laughs> Like ever. So it's like I leave a voicemail. Like I'm saying I'm gonna call Johnny about the podcast. Are you gonna be on today? Whatever. That's what I really call for. But my voicemail will be about something totally different. I'll act like I like he ordered something and it's not coming anymore. We're gonna send him something different. Like I never leave regular voicemails for people. It's just something completely oddball shit. And uh because you're right, you can tell the guy, hey, just call me, and then they'll start a text message with you. Yeah, I was calling you about this, and then they go on about it. You're like, just fucking text me then. Like, you don't, you know, I mean, I just want to hear your voice. <laughs> you did. You did in the fucking voicemail. Like, hey, if you, hey, you can be, text recordings of your voice, now you can do it that way. That should be the voicemail. Hey, if you call me just to hear me talk to you, that's cool, bro. But text me. All right. Later. I'm watching Mortal Kombat. I like Thanks for not movies. answering. I wanted to hear your voice. Yeah. Hey. Tell me that you're not available. Yeah. But um, what about drunk texting? Who's ever drunk text? And no. who, have you ever gotten results from drunk texting? I don't mean who negative hasn't results. I mean drunk positive. texted? How about that? Well, I don't know if I, I. I can honestly tell you, I don't know if I have. Maybe I was too drunk to know if I have. I never go <laughs> I back and look at my phone. So I, I don't. don't know. <laughs> I don't drink enough to qualify. <laughs> so sorry about that. I just. Oh, so all the shitty shit you send me is on purpose. It's just perfect. <laughs> yeah, it's horrible. Purpose. You're sober. <laughs> Jesus. Yeah. Anything I write you is leg- There's no drinking involved. <laughs> Marie, I know you're horrible. You're a drunk texter. Johnny's a drunk texter. Uh, Have you gotten listen. any positive results from a drunk text? Oh, crap. What, uh, yeah. what do you consider positive? Well, you're looking Getting for something. You're, you're reaching. Yes. Yeah, you're reaching. Like, you're, you're literally reaching. trying yeah, yeah, your yeah, hardest, yeah. and you reach your goal. I've got positive results, not from a drunk text, but from a oops text. You know, you'll send something out, and if you get a negative comment back, you're like, oops, oh, I wasn't for you. Sorry about that. But uh, I've gotten a positive that. result from one of those. It's like fishing. You just throw out the bait. Is that what it is? <laughs> See who responds. I don't like that. <laughs> That's a good idea, too. No, it's not a good idea. What don't I really like? don't Hold like on. What that. What don't you like? No, I don't like that because it puts the two people or it puts you in an awkward situation. Like, that happens to me all the time. It's like a guy will be like, oh, this should happen between us. It's like, no, shut the fuck up. He's like, oh, I was just joking. Why do you have to take it like that? Like, it just puts me in an awkward see, position. I don't different. fucking like it. No, because it doesn't that matter one, the level. Whoa, whoa. No, no, relax. Like, First whoa. of all, bring it down I don't like that. Holy the difference is, like the that. difference is the guy's fishing. Don't punch the camera. We didn't I know. Do I know they're fishing, but fishing. I don't like it. And I okay, know that they're I fishing it. and I, I don't it. like it. But see, we're not talking about that so much. We're talking about like accidental texts like, oh shit, this meant to go to Johnny. Shit, this yes. went to fucking mm-hmm. Peter. Oh fuck. Mm-hmm. And mm-hmm. you know, like I've heard it all. I've seen it all. I can see right through you guys. <laughs> Transparent. Okay, so you've never done anything like that at all, ever? Ever. Not in like the last 10 years. But you've done it. I I apologize because your moral compass is so (laughs) so on point right now. You're judging me for fishing? Yeah, pass the ball. Your moral compass looks like a Salvador Dali painting. Is that that fucking thing looks like? I mean, it's all, it's all uh, games. Women play games too. Don't get so worked up. You really got. I just don't like right that. There. I just Calm don't down. like that. I but just don't but, like it. But wait, wait, wait. Can... Just, just to uh, if 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 I send somebody an eggplant emoji mm-hmm. uh, and then they they come over, well then shit. Yeah, but what? how, winner, how winner. often does that happen? How often <laughs> does that happen? Seven it, for ten right now. What'd you say? No. You're seven for ten. Fourteen for twenty. <laughs> Well, in my past, I was one for one. <laughs> oh, I like. I mean, but you're right. I mean, yeah. I think when it comes to guys, they're more likely to go fishing through their texts. You know, for sure. Women fish. But, but no, 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 no. I'm just saying. Is, uh, I, I'm pretty. Long I'm ass pretty text. Strict. I'm no pretty. No games, and you better. <laughs> no, no, no. Yeah, exactly. No, listen, your feelings listen, right now. Are I'm we pretty... gonna be in a relationship? <laughs> are we just hanging out? God damn exactly. it! I'm not gonna play these fucking I games. Mean, uh-huh. I'm gonna go home with my cat. <laughs> cats, cats. <laughs> yeah. No, okay. I don't play games through text messages, but I play games in in person for sure. Oh, that's fucking better. Your your voice changed a little bit. Yeah. 
Yeah. So um, I'll tell you something that I did, and okay. this might have happened just recently. Someone asked mm-hmm. me if I needed an Uber, and I know that they were buying me beers, so of course I needed an, an Uber from them. But they wanted me to sit in the front seat with them, but I didn't. I purposely sat in the back. I'm confused. Like, How are you going to sit in the front seat with them if they got you an Uber? They were my Uber. They were the Uber. <laughs> I sit in the front seat of all my Ubers and Lyfts. I don't want to look like I'm being dropped off. I want to look like my friend is dropping me off. This guy was buying me the drinks and he was joking around. Oh, do you need, well, he wasn't joking around. I guess he was joking around. So he said, can I take you home? Was that what he said? Basically, yeah. And I was like, yeah, you can be my Uber. And then he gets in his car and I get in the back seat. He's like, no. I was like, yeah, you're my Uber driver. And I was just totally fucking. That's right. You don't give your regular Uber driver a hando. What a- How do you know I don't? Oh, they get free rides. <laughs> a great review. You know, you know I, like. I know I do have five stars. Your reviews are off the chart. <laughs> wow! 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 The the lady that, the lady gets pissed about oh. text fishing. <laughs> yeah, yeah, but but leaving the tip on the tip. Uh, yeah, exactly. 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 No big deal. Jesus. She finishes them off and goes, hey, you better not fucking text me. Like, whoa, what? <laughs> what the fuck's happening right now? You can't text them back after after you drop someone off. You can't text them back. So, like, yeah, lose my number. Oh, yeah. Wow. <laughs> wow. So, long story short, you're a long texter. Uh, Carlos doesn't get back to people all the time. Uh, Johnny's a pretty decent texter, it sounds like, you know? I work odd hours, so yeah. Yeah, that's true. You do work odd hours, and I uh, typically get yeah, back to true. everyone that texts me because I feel like they're writing me for a reason. So let me get back to. Well, that's, well, like what Johnny said was true because I'll send him a text at like nine thirty in the morning or something, and I don't get one, but I already know he's probably not going to answer me till like late evening or something. So it's, I don't get bent out of shape like Marie. I don't go Holy punching shit. my walls. If, and if you were to call me and sound anything him. like Marie, I got to block your ass. <laughs> no, I'm not talking about that. Oh, I'm just talking seriously. about in general when guys are oh, fishing. Like, man. I was at a party not too long ago and this guy was like, Eddie will give you a ride home. I was like, don't put me in that awkward position. That's so weird. He's like, no, I'm serious. You'll be, you know, and then if I were to be like, no, haha, then it'd be like joking. I'm not What's just talking about texting. Hey, how did you get Someone to the party? You a ride home. I Ubered. No, so, no, I, I got it. I know my friend came and picked me up. But how mm. did you get? Oh, she so you Uber got to, to the, the your party. friend took you to the party. No, no, mm-hmm. she Ubered to the party. No, no, no. I Her my friend, friend picked me up to go to the party, and then I took a lift back. And this got was when it. the guy was like, "Oh, my friend will take you home," but he, you know, he's like just being stupid. But back to I don't remember what I was going to say. Well, I mean, I feel like that's a risk you take when you go to swingers parties. You know what I'm saying? Like, mm-hmm. you just don't know mm-hmm. who's going to give you, have you a ride home. Married you know? To I know. When you get home, you put the keys in the bowl. You, you should go to non-binary parties. <laughs> <laughs> I just call that life. Yeah, 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 yeah. No swinger. <laughs> Fantastic. That's a good question, though. Do you have to be married to be a swinger? I think you do. I think you do. I think that's a qualification. I don't think you do. You need to be in a relationship, I think. I don't think Yeah, I think that's what it is. I think to, I think some of the parties have to know what's going on. Yeah, and you, you have yeah, to yeah, bring yeah. somebody with you to the party. That's in on it. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's you know, you can't just show up to every single party by yourself. <laughs> hey, all right, all right. You again? Hey, hey, listen. I'm, I'm, you got to bring something to the party, not, yeah. not just chips and guac. I brought my Uber driver. <laughs> yeah. He's like, I brought my uh, cock sock. Let's do this. <laughs> like, you know, he you know what he says. Listen, I'm always here, man. I'm reliable. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I never not show up. <laughs> so, uh, but yeah, okay. Well, anybody else got anything on this or are we moving on? We'll take a break here on Nerds Talking, the podcast. We'll be right back. Well, look at here. We have ourself uh, a fourth member joining us. Marie came on to the show, and she just stopped texting people because it sounds like it gets a little bit out of hand, and then people get into her business, and then she wants people in the business without any business at all, and she's in the business of getting the people's business. I don't know what's going on here. Don't give me the business. Anyway, back to the show, everybody. Hope you're having a good time. Welcome back to Nerds Talking the Podcast. I'm here with Johnny, Carlos, Marie, I'm Lafayette. And have you had plastic surgery? Yes or no? Do you want it? Do you wish for it? What would you change on your body? Are you excited for it? Anyway, anybody here ever have plastic surgery? Anybody? Anybody looking forward to plastic surgery? Anybody want plastic surgery? Anybody seen 
Like those people, anybody see those segments on YouTube? The people are addicted to plastic surgery, which is wild. No, oh, I saw one when this guy's addicted to, to looking like Michael Jackson in Argentina, and he's already spent $2 million to look like Michael Jackson. And he's very close. Which Michael, though? The later in life Michael. Mm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The white skin, straight I think the hair. the bad Michael. Michael is the best looking Michael. That is the best looking Michael Jackson. Yes, yes, yes. That's very true. Um, so yeah, no, I've had plastic surgery and it sucks. And um, yeah, plastic surgery on purpose. <laughs> yep, mm-hmm. I had or to was have it an accident. On nose. No, I had to have my face restructured and because uh, it was super crooked. Yeah, Michael uh, Knight. And I had to wear a face cast for six weeks, and I had busted eyes, like bruised eyes and swollen cheeks. And it's very uncomfortable. Well, very I, I uncomfortable. like when I, did you choose to do that or did you have to because you wouldn't be able to breathe or whatever? Because I think it's a little bit. No, different. no. I chose to do it because my nose was literally like this. Mm. Like if you saw a picture of me in high school, I do not have a straight nose. It's fucking sideways because I got kneed in the face as a child and broke my nose and they couldn't put it back into place. Uh, fast enough when I was a child, so they has to, the doctor said you have to let it let it grow naturally, even if it's crooked, and you can only fix it after you're 18 years old when your basically nose has stopped growing. They had to break it, reset it, and so on and so forth, and it's very uncomfortable. I advise people not to get plastic surgery unless you. Um, I don't know. I think plastic surgery is unnecessary. <laughs> I don't know, I, but I do see some people that get it on their nose. Nose is a big thing. Getting a nose plus surgery is a big thing. And I see people that do get it and they look great. Like they'll have huge like hook noses and whatever. And uh, so, yeah, I get it. But at the same time, I'm telling you, it's it's it sucks. But it's worth it, right? In the end, six weeks of nose cast and probably two months of healing. And there you go, new nose. I mean, that's how you got to look at it. It's short term for long term success. Yeah, so the only reason I brought this up because oh, uh, oh, I'm sorry. Go ahead. No, go ahead. Well, I was just gonna say that I don't see anything wrong with it. If uh, if you feel like it's necessary for you to be happy, the uh, type of thing, or um, if it's gonna significantly change your your way of life for the better, um, you know, there's those people that lose a bunch of weight and they get the skin surgery. Um, oh yeah. Yeah, yeah. Well, that's and that's yeah. Well, that for sure is different. But you're right. I think those people that are obsessed with plastic surgery or people that get it because they want to look better and feel better. It's it's you know it's your money. Do what you want. You know what I mean? Like if you feel like it's gonna give you confidence, maybe you feel like you're a sad sack and this is gonna help you out in life. Will it? Probably not. It'll probably be a short term fix. And that's why you're addicted to it because you keep going back to it because you need more shit to fix yourself. But um, I don't know. I just, uh, have you ever looked at yourself and thought, oh man, what if I had this done? Or what if I look like this? Because I think a lot of people can fix their plastic, their problems by losing weight. You know what I mean? Right. Like that's how I view a lot of problems. It's just, and some people don't want to lose weight naturally. They want surgery to lose weight. You know, they want to get the fat sucked out of them or what's that new thing? Cool sculpting. Like they want that type of shit. They don't want to put any work into it, you know. So um, I don't know. Marie, have you thought about plastic surgery? Mm-hmm. And what do you? What would you get done? I wanted to get my nose done and my chin done. Um, I'm s- hoping one day that I will get smashed in the face with a soccer ball so hard that I'll need emergency right on fasting. But my n- night. my nose is strong and German. And uh, yeah, Fridays I've, I've been hit everywhere. It just will not break no matter what I do. Uh, but I saw a thing that you can do. It's like an injection. Instead of getting surgery, it's like an injection. So it makes your bridge more even. Um, and then, yeah, I want to get my chin done. But I used to want to, but I don't anymore. What's wrong with your chin? It's uneven. Or it's oh. kind of long. It's kind of long. Mm-hmm. And this side is longer than this side um i would get this part like i guess shaved down or whatever they do but i used to not like those two things about me and then there's what like an app and you can shrink your face and i did that and i was like oh that doesn't look so good on me actually so now i changed my mind you should on because you play indoor soccer on friday nights 
Mm-hmm. Is it Friday? What day you play? It's Friday. So it's just like dribble the ball down the field and and like accidentally trip over and slam your face into the wall. And then kind of go about it that way. Or just way. play goalie and save everything with your face. That's I mean, true I've, too. I've there. done that, that but one? I've never done the wall thing. What, what what would you accomplish with that? It wouldn't be like... My health year. insurance would cover it. You got a but, point. Or to, or, to, to a um, certain extent, but you can't like be like, all right, well, I want this Beverly Hills doctor to fix my nose. They're going to be like, well, true too. We're, I don't, but I don't want something super significant. I just want like a little bit of fix right here. That's, I don't want. You want your bridge thinned out. Uh, I, I feel know, like if you're going to get this- major surgery, you should probably have a good doctor, not just whatever your insurance is going to pay for. But is, is that major surgery? All I want is, yeah, like he said, I wanted to be evened out. I have a bump on this side, not on this side. I just wanted to be evened They're going to do the same thing, though. They're going to have to break I'll tell you what, your nose. That's true. They got to break the bridge. Here's the thing. It's already going to be broken. When I hit about 30. to break it again. I have an indentation in my nose right here. And I was like, what the hell? And it happened when I was about 30. And I was like, what the hell's going on? How do I got an indentation? And I have a bump on this side as I got older. Is it from having plastic surgery? I don't know. Maybe that was going to happen anyway. But could have been from that. I mean, you know, you, you can, like I said, it's a short term. Are you going to be happy? Like, oh, look at my nose. Now my life's so fantastic. I, yes. Yeah, okay, so you're just not happy it with could. It could give you it. confidence. A lot of people get confidence. That's what I'm saying. It gives people confidence. Does it end? Like, does the confidence wear out? Or do you become obsessed? Or do you want to do something else after no, that? No, you know what I am afraid of, though? Like, if I were to, if I've come to accept my nose, and now I probably wouldn't never, ever do it because I've accepted it in this beautifully European bone structure. Yeah, but excuses what <laughs> what happens if I get a nose job and they fuck it up and they look like Caitlyn Jenner? You know what I mean? You can't do that, or you know. Uh no, you can't. The thing is, you guess it's it. You cannot undo plastic surgery. That's the downside. So. And he's black, or he was. <laughs> All right. Well, you go. We'll be right back after this on Nerds Talking the podcast. Well, if I had to give myself a plastic surgery, we'd probably have muscles put inside of my body so I could be super buff like Arnold Schwarzenegger. But other than that, you know, I can't really see myself getting too much done. I'm pretty perfect. Anyway, back to you, everybody. Welcome back to Nerds Talking the Podcast. I'm here with Johnny, Carlos, Marie, and I'm Lafayette. And what is your pet peeves? And uh, if you don't know what a pet peeve is, it's something that a particular person finds especially annoying. One of my biggest pet peeves is poor customer service. That's an example. What are your pet peeves? That's a good one. I haven't been to Applebee's in uh, 25 years because I got real bad service one day. I was like, fuck this place. And it's not like I gave up anything uh, significant anyway. So it was easy to quit Applebee's after that shit service. Not the shit food, though. Well, they had reasonable prices. (laughs) <laughs> I mean, it's basically pet peeves Like, you know, it's just the things that Annoy you, they don't, and they're not really Remember, they're not big things They're, just, they're little things that annoy you Like, so you just can't stand that shit Is consistently late a big thing Or a little thing? Because I can't stand when Ooh. people are late all the time Like, it's the same person And they're late all the time Like, that it sounds like you things. you have more of a problem with that particular person. Than- it's yeah, a lot of people, it though. Like- it's, a, it's a lot of people, though. No, well, you, you, you said just now one particular person and they're consistent. But what if I'm not the time. only person with the problem or like that hates that about that person? Not hate. Then but it's, you know not really I mean? a, it's not really, but it's, that's it's, not really a pet peeve. A pet peeve yeah, is a general terrible. thing. It's if, a, you, if you were mad at everybody when they're late, regardless of who it was, then it'd be different. That's, that's your pet peeve. I kind of am, though. Oh, okay. So the, so you know what? You've turned into everyone's pet peeve. Annoying as shit. I was going to say, you know what's a pet peeve of mine? When people gang up on me. <laughs> Wait, in which way? <laughs> oh. <laughs> it's a pet dream. Anyway. I mean, no. It's a pet, pet dream. Peeve. <laughs> pet peeve. I mean. <laughs> um, I didn't get it at first, and now I do. Ah, uh, you got it. That's uh, kind my of pet funny. Peeves, That's actually funny. Yeah, my pet peeve is people don't get jokes. It just pisses me off. <laughs> Um, no, uh, that's a good one. Like, like the customer service one's pretty good. You know, like, that's a good point. I'm not going to go here to service sucks. Um, I can't really think of many pet peeves, like things that annoy me to the point where I'm like, ah, I can't stand that shit. You know what I think is because, well, I think it's because we do have so many 
pet peeves that we just don't think of any off the top of my head. But once someone does it, you're like, oh, I hate when people do that. Right. You know? So if you were to ask me just now, like, oh, what are one of yours? I'm like, I, I really couldn't tell you because it's, unless you were to do it, there's nothing I'm going to really think. Because I think it's just in the back of my head, in the back of my mind that, oh, this person, don't do that. I hate when they do that. Don't do that. You know? Driving under the speed limit. <clears throat> I want people to tell me how to drive from the back seat. Don't tell me how to drive. That can be a pet peeve. Oh, I know. Yeah, 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 of course. Uh, Backseat driver, that's definitely a pet peeve. Yeah, that's a good one, too. People who want to control my music, get out of here. Are you talking about yeah, the internet? The car, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, yeah. like Spotify? if I'm hanging you out with someone and they want to play a song, no. Uh, you just that's just fucking bitch. rude. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I know. How dare they? <laughs> no, I think on your part. <laughs> right. No, you can't. Yeah. Listen My rules, to house you rules, like. house rules. <laughs> yeah, no, it's things like that. It's like, um, and that's a good point too. Let's, for instance, let's say you're home, you're watching something, and somebody changes the channel. Like, what the, what the, like? But I don't know. It doesn't happen enough. A pet peeve is something that does happen constantly. That you just, it just annoys the shit out of you. You know, um, imagine like when you go to a store, what's something that bugs you when you go to a store? Like, you know, you can't stand, right? You have to raise your hand. <laughs> is that a pet peeve is raising your hand during the podcast? Yeah, yeah. That's uh, that's one of mine. Yes. <laughs> um, I don't like when, I mean, I have a lot of pet peeves, but I don't like when I'm walking down an aisle. Like, I'm not talking about like a smaller aisle. I'm talking about like a big aisle or a small aisle, like say Target. And the person in front of you knows that you're trying to get behind, around them and they just don't give a fuck and they're walking in the middle of it with their big ass shopping cart and their fucking kids and they do not care or not controlling their damn kids in the store Ugh. yeah yeah there you go um my my one of mine is i hate repeating myself to people mm-hmm. like What'd say I, for for work <laughs> motherfucker <laughs> and i'm like you know work and you're trying to train them and they constantly come back with the same question over and over because they didn't not fucking fair. catch on you're like, oh, dude, are you stupid? Like, yes, you're thinking to yourself, you're like, come like on. You don't have patience. Yeah. Well, no, no, it's not. No, if I, if I tell you five times and show you five times, you come back a sixth time. I'm like, you got to be kidding me. Like, you've been at this for how long now? An hour? And you still have to come back <laughs> and ask me? Like, fuck well, I mean, some people are stupid, but then you could be a bad teacher, too. So mm-hmm. that's true. Th- no, there no, are a no, lot of, no, no. Lot of lot first of things. off, no, 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 no. Go fuck off. See, my pet peeve is when people <laughs> who think they're, you know, smarter than everyone in the room. I can't be wrong. It's not a pet <laughs> or peeve. They can't, that's they just can't you're dumb and the other person just... is pretty smart. <laughs> <laughs> They that is not say, a pet peeve. They that have to like stay saying, down there. That's like they saying every say. time I walk into a room, you go, God damn, pet peeve just kicked in. And that's not fair. That is not fair. What? Johnny got no, it. No, that's, like <laughs> <laughs> that's like every time my wife leaves the goddamn front door open. And I said, why do you leave that door open? She like leaves it open all the time. It's the security door we have in front of the front door. She always leaves it open. Like, stop leaving it open. That's a pet peeve. Like, stop. That's if you have to repeat yourself over and over. Yeah, things it's like time to start. For instance, like towels on the floor all the time, and like little things like that. And um, why don't you give us something major? Because she's standing behind you. I want to see if she listens in. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like duck. Pet is about you. That's right. That's right. <laughs> yeah, so good us. old pet Tell peeves. Us. Good old pet peeves. All right. Well, anybody's got any more before we uh, hit the skins or hit? The, is it skids? Wow. Well, hit hit the, the skins. skins. You've been talking to Marie for too long, man. <laughs> yeah. What is <laughs> wrong with you? Hit the skids. It's text message. I've never heard of that. Skids. You never heard of the skids. What? You never heard of hit the skids? Man. The skids or the skins? I mean, skins. 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 <laughs> Which one are you saying? Skins or skids? Skids. He said both. Oh, skids. Don't say either one of them. I just don't. <laughs> well, hit the skids means get out of here. Hit the road, give a man. Fuck. Just don't, don't, don't say either one. Is that one of your pet peeves? <laughs> I mean, you're really <laughs> upset about this. It is now. I, oh, I got a that. pet peeve for you. People that say supposedly instead of supposedly. Get your shit yeah, together, man. You know man. what? What's wrong like with you? Know purpose? What? You know what? Grammar. Yeah, they think that's grammar how they say is, it. Uh, you know, like people say, a, I could care less. 
That's wrong. It's I couldn't care less. Yeah, grammar is a big pet peeve of mine. Or grammar like, is a pet peeve of mine. Yeah. Uh, what's the um it's irregardless, that's not a word. Irregardless not even irregardless a word. Is a, it's that's not a not good a one. Irregardless. Yeah. <laughs> or did you know um, it's not anyways, it's any way and there's no s at the end. Mm. Anyways. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> anyway. Yeah. Anyways. Anyways. Phew, bullshit. <laughs> uh, supposedly, you think you're correct. <laughs> I feel like I'm all mine to are... End this uh, shit. <laughs> all mine are related to just bad people in general, like oh, okay. uh, inconsiderate drivers or people that lie. Um, mm-hmm. Lying is a big, big, big one. I mean, I... I uh, Fishing, apparently. Uh, there, there are times where you can lie to maybe like spare someone's feelings. I'm, I don't have any problems right. with that. But, but telling me you don't have a girlfriend when you do, that's like... Fishing? And that's, that's why you're so really angry? That's not really a pet peeve. Is that really a pet peeve? Yes, it is. I know he has oh. a girlfriend. He just oh, now we're back into something else. I think you hit something else. Oh, Jesus. Oh, oh, my how God. specific of you? <laughs> oh, <laughs> how Pacific uh, of you? <laughs> yeah, how Pacific. How Pacific of you. Yeah. There you go. That's a yeah. Oh, yeah. Well, yeah. There you go. Some pet peeves. Think about them. We'll uh, we'll throw some more out next time around. Good old pet peeves. If you can think about some ones that are specific to uh, your life. All right, that's our show. Thanks for joining us here on Nurse Talking the podcast for Carlos. Bye bye, Marie. Bye. Johnny. Goodbye. Hey Johnny, what's your pet peeve about the end of the show? <laughs> I'm good. <laughs> uh, you <laughs> and I'm Lafayette. Uh, we'll see you next time on Nurse Talking the Podcast. Well, that's our show, everybody. I hope you enjoyed this episode of Nurse Talking the Podcast. It's very informative. And, uh, you know, I'd rather enjoy a lot of it and uh, non binary and how uh, you can get a plastic surgery on your face. But you get a plastic surgery anyway, I guess, really. And remember to subscribe, turn on the notification, download. Tell your friends. If you can, please share this on your social media platform, such as Facebook, Twitter, anywhere else you get your social media information from, like I do myself. Thanks again. It's Kevin Phillips. You're talking to podcast. Have yourself a wonderful day.